Hi, Super Knocked Up fans. It's Jordan Gibson, a.k.a. Jessica James Dark Star, coming at you in my fourth video blog. You know how Captain Amazing just complains about supervillains, and I guess he doesn't like the crowd that Dark Star runs around with? I don't know. Well, I, in my real life, have had my own supervillain. Um, it's kind of embarrassing to admit, actually. <laughs> For the last week, I've had a rat living in my car. Let's rewind. Just one second. Just you picture a rat in a car, you think, ooh, it must be a really gross car. It's not a car. It's not a gross car. It's a, it's a tidy car. There's only like french fries and spam and dirt and stuff in it. It's clean. It's tidy. But yeah, I went out of town for a couple days, came back, and surprise! New friend. Named Tim Benji. I mean, we didn't hang out, but I had to name him. I freaked out. I mean, I tried to remain cool, but I freaked out. Oh, awesome. It's official. I have a varmint living in my car. You learn a lot about people when you have a rat stuck in your car. For example, my friend Clinton. He was hilarious. He was helpful. We fought the good fight. We ultimately failed, but he was there for me. Not everyone's that helpful in this situation. Things that people will say when you have a rat in your car. You have a rat in your car? No problem. Here, just put the piece of cheese right there on the seat, and when we see it, we'll open the door and we'll grab it. So, really? I mean, that poor rat. Like, what did that rat ever do to you? You don't know. Maybe we could just find it. Maybe, can we just put this box in there and then, you know, take it to the park and set it free? Really? You have car problems? What's, what's the problem? I, I can help you out. Would you, uh, I'm sorry. You have, a, you have a rat? I, yeah. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. You know, I really, I really don't have time. I gotta, I gotta, wait, what was that? Did you, that someone's calling my name. <laughs> He's a very large dick. Poke at it. Alright, so it's real easy. All you gotta do is you gotta drive down Home Depot, you gotta get some fumigation tanks, and then you gotta light fumigation tanks to set it up in your car. Just put about three or four, no big deal. He'll probably crawl up in your dashboard and die, but then you'll be real little critter. You know, probably not drive your car for another week or two so the fumes can air out. Oh my gosh, you have a rat! That is so cute! I love, I love rats! Well, I mean, I think the most obvious solution is to get a cat and put it in the car and just leave him in there for a couple hours. <laughs> Hmm. Sorry. There are a few positive things that come from having a rat in your car. For example, you're always going to win a self-deprecation off. Oh, sorry about the seatbelt there. It kind of jams. You know, my car is a piece of crap. Oh, your car is a piece of crap. Oh, wait. I have a rat living in my car. Oh, I haven't washed my car since last week. It's really gross in here. Sorry. <laughs> Don't be grossed out. Oh, I'm not grossed out. I have a rat living in my car. So I think the saddest part of my rat situation is that there's really no resolution to it. He didn't leave a note. He didn't say goodbye. I didn't see him run off. I don't think he's there anymore. I haven't seen any poopies. Um, so I think we're good. Yay! Uh, I hope y'all having a good week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting Super Knocked Up. And beware of rats. If you have a friend that has a rat in their car, lend him your cat. Give him a stick or something. Don't judge. It happens. It happens to us all. I mean, hopefully not. Bye!